Ever feel like your mornings are a whirlwind, leaving you exhausted before the day even begins? Or maybe you're struggling to find a peaceful rhythm that lets you fit everything in without feeling overwhelmed. It's a common struggle. Mornings can set the tone for your entire day, and it's time to make them work for you. Imagine starting each day with clarity and calm, knowing exactly what you need to do to feel energized and focused. This isn't about cramming more into your schedule. It's about creating a morning routine that nourishes your mind and body. Marcus Aurelius once said, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. What if we could harness this wisdom to transform our mornings? Picture this. Instead of hitting the snooze button multiple times, you wake up feeling refreshed and ready to embrace the day. Instead of rushing through your routine, you move with purpose and serenity. Sounds ideal, right? The secret lies in small, intentional changes that make a big difference. Let's explore how a few tweaks can turn your mornings from chaotic to calm, setting you up for success. Did you know that taking time to enjoy a quiet breakfast can boost your mood and productivity? Or that writing down your goals can help you stay focused? These simple practices can revolutionize your mornings. Think of them as tools to help you create a routine that's uniquely yours, one that aligns with your needs and aspirations. As we journey through these 10 things you should do every morning, remember that it's not about perfection. It's about finding what works best for you and making it a consistent part of your life. Your ideal morning routine is just a few steps away, waiting to be discovered and embraced. So let's embark on this adventure together and unlock the potential of your mornings. Unleash your true potential with our ebook, Path of Wisdom, Modern Stoicism for Daily Life. Unlock the secrets to a fulfilling life today by clicking on the first pinned comment on this video. Uncover powerful methods for mastering your emotions, fostering resilience, and discovering serenity amidst life's trials. Lesson 1. Discover your Ikigai. Finding purpose isn't some lofty, unattainable goal. It's a daily pursuit, a way to inject meaning into the mundane. Picture yourself waking up with a sense of direction, knowing exactly why you do what you do. That's your Ikigai, a concept that intertwines passion, mission, vocation, and profession. It's the sweet spot where what you love, what the world needs, what you can be paid for, and what you are good at meet. This isn't just about grand ambitions. It's about finding joy and fulfillment in everyday actions. Stoicism teaches us to align our actions with our values, to find peace in our purpose. Imagine a craftsman meticulously working on a piece of furniture, every stroke of the chisel a step towards perfection. That's Ikigai in action. Marcus Aurelius once said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. When you wake up each day with a clear sense of purpose, your thoughts align and your actions follow suit. It's about creating harmony between your internal desires and external actions. Let's make this practical. Start by jotting down what you love to do, what activities make you lose track of time. Next, list what you're good at, skills and talents you possess. Then consider what the world needs that aligns with your passions and talents. Finally, identify how you can get paid for these activities. These four lists are the cornerstones of your Ikigai. When you cross-reference them, you'll uncover the sweet spot where your purpose lies. Reflecting on your Ikigai doesn't require grand gestures. Small, consistent steps can lead to profound changes. Think of a teacher who loves music, good at inspiring, and decides to start a music club for students. This club becomes their ikigai, a source of daily joy and fulfillment. It's not about changing the world overnight, but making incremental adjustments that align with your deeper values and desires. Stoic wisdom encourages us to live in accordance with nature, which includes our own nature. Embrace your unique talents and interests as gifts meant to be shared. Epictetus reminds us, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. It's about identifying who you want to be and then aligning your daily actions to that vision. This alignment brings a profound sense of peace and purpose. Every day, remind yourself of your ikigai. Write it down. Meditate on it. Let it guide your decisions. When you feel lost or overwhelmed, return to this central purpose. It's your anchor, your guiding star. By living your ikigai, 
you not only find personal fulfillment, but also contribute positively to the world around you. Remember, discovering your Ikigai is a journey, not a destination. Enjoy the process, stay curious, and let your purpose unfold naturally. Lesson 2. Prepare the night before. Imagine waking up each morning with a clear plan, a sense of direction that propels you forward. This isn't about rigid schedules, but about setting intentions that align with your goals. Preparing the night before means setting the stage for a successful day. It's about taking a few moments to reflect on what's important and prioritizing tasks that move you closer to your objectives. This simple practice can transform your mornings from chaotic to calm, from rushed to intentional. Before you sleep, list the top three tasks you need to accomplish the next day. These tasks should align with your broader goals, ensuring that each day you're making progress, however small. This practice creates a sense of control and purpose. Consider practical steps. Lay out your clothes, prepare your breakfast, and set up your workspace. These might seem trivial, but they save precious morning minutes and reduce decision fatigue. A friend of mine, a writer, swears by this ritual. Every night he sets up his writing space, ensuring his notes and references are ready. This way, when he wakes up, he can dive straight into his work without distractions. This habit has significantly increased his productivity and creativity. This preparation extends to mental readiness. Reflect on your day, identify potential challenges, and plan how to tackle them. This mental rehearsal builds resilience, Seneca said. The mind that is anxious about future events is miserable. By preparing the night before, you reduce anxiety and increase your ability to handle unforeseen events. You become proactive rather than reactive, a hallmark of stoic wisdom. Additionally, use this time to practice gratitude. Reflect on what went well during the day and what you're thankful for. This not only boosts your mood, but also sets a positive tone for the next day. Gratitude, a key aspect of Stoicism, helps you appreciate the journey and not just the destination. It's about acknowledging small victories and learning from setbacks. This practice enhances your overall well-being and prepares you mentally and emotionally for the day ahead. Incorporating these night-before rituals into your routine doesn't require drastic changes. Start small, be consistent, and adjust as necessary. Over time, these habits will become second nature, seamlessly integrating into your life. The beauty of this practice lies in its simplicity and effectiveness. By preparing the night before, you're setting yourself up for success, aligning your actions with your intentions, and embracing a stoic approach to daily living. Lesson 3. Shield your mornings. Starting your day with peace and purpose is like setting the tone for a beautiful symphony. Shielding your mornings from unnecessary distractions and stress allows you to embrace serenity and focus. This doesn't mean hiding away, but rather creating a morning routine that prioritizes calm and intention. Imagine beginning your day not with a rush of emails or social media, but with moments of quiet reflection and purposeful action. This is the Stoic way to embrace each morning. The wisdom of Stoicism teaches us to control what we can and accept what we cannot. Epictetus famously said, We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Your morning routine is within your control. Start with a few minutes of meditation or deep breathing to center yourself. This practice grounds you, preparing you to face the day with clarity and calm. Picture a serene start with soft music, a cup of tea, and mindful breathing. It sets a peaceful tone for the day. Practical steps include setting boundaries for your morning. For example, avoid checking your phone or email first thing. Give yourself at least 30 minutes to an hour of uninterrupted time. This might be a walk in the park, journaling, or simply sitting quietly. A friend of mine, an entrepreneur, starts his day with a quiet walk, reflecting on his goals and intentions. This ritual helps him maintain focus and reduces stress, proving that a serene morning is achievable even with a busy schedule. Another crucial aspect is incorporating movement into your morning routine. Whether it's stretching, yoga, or a light workout, physical activity invigorates your body and mind. It's not about intense workouts, but about gentle movements that awaken your senses and prepare you for the day. 
This aligns with the stoic principle of taking care of your body as a vessel for your mind and spirit. A balanced body leads to a balanced mind, ready to tackle the day's challenges. Mindful eating is also a part of shielding your mornings. Instead of rushing through breakfast, take time to enjoy your meal. Choose nourishing foods that fuel your body and mind. This simple act of mindful eating connects you with the present moment, enhancing your overall well-being. It's about savoring each bite and appreciating the nourishment it provides, aligning with the stoic appreciation for life's simple pleasures. Embrace the power of intention by setting a positive affirmation or intention for the day. This could be as simple as, I will remain calm and focused, or I will approach today with gratitude. These affirmations act as anchors, guiding you through the day with purpose and clarity. By shielding your mornings, you create a sanctuary of peace and intention, setting a strong foundation for whatever the day may bring. Remember, the way you start your day shapes the way you live your life. Lesson four, consistent wake up. Establishing a consistent wake up time is like planting a flag each morning, marking the start of a new day with intention and discipline. Routine may seem mundane, but it is the bedrock of a successful and serene life. Consistency in waking up trains your mind and body to function at their best creating a rhythm that supports productivity and well-being. Picture yourself waking up at the same time every day, your body and mind in sync, ready to tackle whatever comes your way. The stoic approach values discipline and routine, seeing them as paths to inner peace and resilience. Seneca once said, routine and consistency make the soul unshakable. By waking up at the same time daily, you eliminate the chaos of unpredictability. It's a simple yet powerful way to bring order to your life. This consistency doesn't just boost productivity, it also enhances your mental and physical health. Your body's internal clock thrives on routine, leading to better sleep quality and more energy throughout the day. Consider practical steps to establish this habit. Start by setting an alarm for the same time each day, even on weekends. This may be challenging initially, but your body will gradually adapt. Create a morning ritual that you look forward to whether it's a refreshing shower, a warm cup of coffee, or a few moments of meditation. These small rituals can motivate you to rise early and begin your day with a positive mindset. A colleague of mine started this practice and found that her mornings transformed from rushed chaos to a calm, structured start. This consistent wake-up time is not just about the morning. It sets the tone for your entire day. It gives you a head start, a moment of quiet before the world wakes up. Use this time for self-reflection, planning, or pursuing a passion project. It's your time to focus on what truly matters to you. For instance, many successful people use their early mornings to read, exercise, or work on personal goals, finding that this uninterrupted time is the most productive part of their day. Incorporate elements of stoicism into your morning routine. Reflect on the day ahead, considering what you can control and what you cannot. This stoic practice helps you prepare mentally and emotionally, making you more resilient to the challenges of the day. Use your mornings to set intentions and align your actions with your values and goals. This alignment creates a sense of purpose and direction. By harnessing the power of routine, you create a stable foundation for your life. This stability allows you to handle the unexpected with grace and poise. It's not about rigidity, but about creating a framework that supports your growth and well-being. Embrace the discipline of a consistent wake-up time and watch as it transforms your days and ultimately your life. This simple habit can be the key to unlocking a more focused, serene and productive existence. Lesson five, embrace self-compassion. Life's demands can often lead us to be our harshest critics. Embracing self-compassion means allowing yourself the grace to make mistakes and the kindness to forgive them. Imagine treating yourself with the same understanding and empathy you offer a friend. Self-compassion isn't about excusing poor behavior. It's about recognizing your humanity and striving to improve without self-flagellation. This approach creates a nurturing environment for personal growth and resilience. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of inner tranquility. Seneca reminds us, a man who suffers before it is necessary suffers more than is necessary. Self-compassion is about reducing unnecessary suffering by treating yourself with kindness. When you make a mistake, instead of spiraling into self-criticism, acknowledge it, learn from it, 
and move on. This mindset not only preserves your mental health, but also enhances your ability to bounce back from setbacks. It's about being firm yet gentle with yourself. Practical steps to embrace self-compassion include mindfulness and self-awareness. Take a few moments each day to check in with yourself. How are you feeling? What thoughts are occupying your mind? This practice helps you recognize when you're being overly harsh. Another technique is to reframe negative self-talk. Instead of saying, I'm such a failure, try, I'm learning and growing from this experience. A friend of mine, an artist, uses this approach. When her work isn't well received, she reminds herself that each piece is a step in her creative journey, not a final judgment of her abilities. Building self-compassion also involves setting realistic expectations. Perfection is an illusion. Striving for it only leads to frustration. Instead, focus on progress and effort. Celebrate small victories and milestones, acknowledging the hard work that led to them. This shift in perspective can dramatically change how you view your achievements and failures. It's about appreciating the journey rather than fixating on the destination. Remember, being kind to yourself isn't a weakness. It's a strength that fuels resilience and perseverance. Engage in activities that nurture your well-being. This could be anything from reading a good book to taking a leisurely walk, practicing a hobby or spending time with loved ones. These moments of joy and relaxation are essential for maintaining a balanced life. Epictetus advised, There is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. By focusing on activities that bring you joy, you cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment. Self-compassion is a continuous practice, not a one-time fix. It requires conscious effort and regular reflection. Start each day with a positive affirmation, reminding yourself of your worth and potential. When faced with challenges, approach them with a mindset of growth and learning. By embracing self-compassion, you create a supportive inner dialogue that empowers you to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. It's about being your own best friend, encouraging and supporting yourself through every step of the journey. Lesson six, small acts of discipline. Discipline often gets a bad rap, seen as a rigid and joyless endeavor, yet small acts of discipline are the building blocks of a virtuous life, creating a framework for growth and self-improvement. Picture a musician practicing daily scales, not for immediate pleasure, but for long-term mastery. This daily commitment, though small, accumulates into extraordinary skill. In the same way, incorporating small disciplined actions into your daily routine can lead to profound personal development. Stoicism celebrates the power of discipline, viewing it as essential to cultivating virtue and resilience. Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Discipline starts with your mind, controlling your impulses and focusing on what truly matters. Begin with manageable steps, like setting a specific time for reading or exercise each day. These small commitments build your self-control and align your actions with your values. Consider practical examples. Setting aside 15 minutes each morning for meditation or journaling can significantly impact your mental clarity and emotional stability. A friend of mine, a busy executive, began dedicating 10 minutes each evening to reflect on his day, jotting down what he learned and how he felt. This small act of discipline helped him gain insights into his behavior, improve his decision-making, and find more balance in his hectic life. It's about creating habits that support your long-term goals. The beauty of small acts of discipline lies in their cumulative effect. Each small action, when repeated consistently, builds momentum. Think of a gardener tending to their plants daily, watering, pruning, nurturing. Over time, these small efforts result in a flourishing garden. Similarly, daily disciplined actions, no matter how trivial they seem, contribute to a richer, more fulfilling life. This approach resonates with the stoic principle of focusing on what you can control and making incremental improvements. Discipline also means setting boundaries, Learn to say no to distractions and temptations that derail you from your path. This doesn't mean leading an austere life, but choosing what aligns with your values and goals. Seneca wisely noted, If a man knows not to which port he sails, no wind is favorable. By setting clear boundaries, 
you protect your time and energy, ensuring they are invested in activities that nurture your growth and well-being. Incorporate self-discipline into your daily routine by starting with small, achievable goals. Gradually increase the challenge as your self-control strengthens. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. This positive reinforcement encourages continued effort and perseverance. Remember, the journey to a virtuous life is not about grand gestures, but about consistent, disciplined actions that align with your deepest values and aspirations. By committing to small acts of discipline, you build a foundation for a life of purpose and fulfillment. Lesson 7. Accountability Partners Embarking on a journey of personal growth and self-improvement is often more successful when shared with others. Accountability partners provide support, motivation, and a sense of shared purpose. Imagine having a trusted friend or mentor who encourages you, keeps you on track, and celebrates your progress. This relationship fosters commitment and perseverance, making the journey less lonely and more enjoyable. It's about sharing your goals and challenges with someone who genuinely cares about your success. Stoicism values community and the wisdom that comes from shared experiences. Marcus Aurelius reflected, Men exist for the sake of one another. Teach them then, or bear with them. Accountability partners embody this principle by offering guidance and support. Start by identifying someone whose values align with yours, someone you respect and trust. This could be a friend, family member, or colleague. Arrange regular check-ins to discuss your progress, challenges, and next steps. These conversations not only keep you accountable, but also provide fresh perspectives and insights. Practical steps to find an accountability partner include reaching out to like-minded individuals in your network or joining groups and communities focused on similar goals. A friend of mine, striving to improve her fitness, joined a local running club. She found an accountability partner there, and their shared commitment significantly boosted her motivation and consistency. This partnership transformed her fitness journey from a solitary struggle to a collaborative and rewarding experience. Accountability partners also help you stay honest with yourself. When you share your goals and progress with someone else, you're less likely to make excuses or procrastinate. This external perspective can highlight blind spots and areas for improvement that you might overlook on your own. Seneca's wisdom, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality, reminds us that our fears and doubts can be mitigated through shared support. By discussing your concerns with an accountability partner, you gain clarity and confidence. Incorporating stoic principles, use your accountability sessions to reflect on your actions and their alignment with your values. Discuss what you can control and what you cannot and strategize accordingly. This reflective practice enhances your self-awareness and resilience. Epictetus suggested, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. By focusing on what truly matters and sharing this focus with your accountability partner, you streamline your efforts and avoid unnecessary distractions. An effective accountability partnership is built on mutual respect and commitment. Both partners should be equally invested in each other's success, offering constructive feedback and encouragement. Celebrate milestones together, no matter how small. These shared victories reinforce your dedication and strengthen your bond. Remember, the journey of self-improvement is more meaningful and enjoyable when shared. By partnering with someone who shares your vision and values, you enhance your chances of success and create lasting, supportive relationships. Lesson 8. Memento Mori Life is fleeting, and the stoic practice of memento mori, remembering death, serves as a powerful reminder to cherish each moment. This isn't about morbidity, but about enhancing the value of life by recognizing its impermanence. Picture waking up each day with the awareness that it could be your last. This perspective can transform how you approach your daily activities, relationships, and personal goals, infusing them with urgency and purpose. It's about making the most of the time you have. Marcus Aurelius urged, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. This stoic reminder encourages living with intention and presence. Start by reflecting on your daily actions. Are they aligned with what truly matters to you? This awareness can inspire you to let go of trivial worries and focus on meaningful pursuits. Imagine spending your time on activities that enrich your life and contribute to your overall well-being. 
rather than getting caught up in minor annoyances. Practical applications of Memento Mori include regular reflection and mindfulness practices. Begin your day with a few moments of contemplation, acknowledging the gift of life and setting intentions to live fully. A friend of mine keeps a Memento Mori coin on his desk as a visual reminder to stay present and purposeful. This simple practice helps him prioritize his tasks and interactions, ensuring that he makes the most of each day. It's about creating constant gentle reminders to live mindfully. Embracing Memento Mori can also enhance your relationships. Treat each interaction as if it might be your last, valuing the time you spend with loved ones. This mindset encourages you to express gratitude, resolve conflicts, and share meaningful moments. Seneca noted, begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life. By valuing each day, you enrich your connections and deepen your appreciation for those around you. Incorporate this stoic principle into your decision-making process. When faced with choices, consider their long-term significance and how they align with your values. This perspective helps you make decisions that are more meaningful and less driven by immediate gratification. Epictetus advised, don't explain your philosophy, embody it. By living with the awareness of mortality, your actions naturally reflect your deepest values and principles. This embodiment leads to a life of integrity and fulfillment. Memento Mori is a call to live with passion and purpose. It's about seizing opportunities and embracing experiences, knowing that time is finite. This perspective can motivate you to pursue your dreams, nurture your passions, and build a life that you're proud of. By valuing each day, you create a legacy of intentional living. Remember, it's not about fearing death, but about enhancing the quality and richness of life. Let the awareness of mortality be a catalyst for living your best life every day. Lesson 9. Negative Visualization Negative visualization, a powerful stoic practice, involves imagining the worst-case scenarios to better appreciate the present and prepare for potential challenges. This might sound pessimistic, but it's a way to build resilience and gratitude. Imagine visualizing losing something or facing a difficult situation. Not to dwell in fear, but to understand that you can endure and overcome. This mental rehearsal strengthens your ability to handle adversity and cherish what you have. Epictetus advised, He who is not prepared to endure the worst will find himself unprepared for the best. By contemplating potential difficulties, you reduce their power over you. Start by taking a few moments each day to reflect on what could go wrong in different aspects of your life, your health, relationships, career. Visualize how you would cope and what steps you could take to mitigate the impact. This exercise prepares your mind for reality, reducing anxiety, and enhancing your problem-solving skills. Practical steps for negative visualization include writing down your fears and considering proactive measures. For instance, if you worry about job security, think about acquiring new skills or saving a financial cushion. A colleague of mine practices this by periodically reviewing his finances and career plans, ensuring he has contingencies in place. This proactive approach not only alleviates his worries, but also empowers him to face the future with confidence. Negative visualization isn't just about preparing for disasters. It also deepens your appreciation for the good in your life. When you imagine losing something, you naturally value it more. Marcus Aurelius noted, Think of what you have, rather than what you lack. Of the things you have, select the best and reflect on how eagerly you would have sought them if you did not have them. This shift in perspective helps you focus on your blessings and maintain a sense of gratitude, even amid challenges. Integrate this practice into your daily routine by setting aside time for reflection, during your morning or evening routine, consider what could go wrong and how you would respond. This doesn't mean obsessing over potential problems, but acknowledging them and developing strategies. By doing so, you build a mental framework that can handle stress and uncertainty. This stoic mindset fosters a sense of preparedness and calm, no matter what life throws your way. Negative visualization also enhances your emotional resilience. By regularly confronting your fears in a controlled manner, you desensitize yourself to their impact. This mental fortitude makes you less reactive and more composed under pressure. It's about training your mind to remain steady and focused, even in the face of adversity.
This practice, rooted in Stoic philosophy, equips you to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and strength. Lesson 10. End with gratitude. Gratitude is a cornerstone of a fulfilling life and ending each day by reflecting on your blessings can significantly enhance your sense of well-being. Imagine winding down each evening by recounting the positive moments, big or small, that made your day special. This practice not only fosters a positive mindset, but also aligns with stoic principles of focusing on what you can control and appreciating life's gifts. It's about acknowledging the good and letting it fuel your resilience and joy. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of gratitude in maintaining inner peace. Marcus Aurelius wrote, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This sentiment is just as powerful when applied at the end of the day. Before you sleep, take a few minutes to reflect on what went well. It could be a kind gesture from a friend, a task you completed, or simply the beauty of a sunset. These reflections anchor you in the present and remind you of life's richness. Practical steps to incorporate gratitude include keeping a gratitude journal. Each night, write down three things you're thankful for. This doesn't have to be elaborate. It's the act of recognizing and recording them that matters. A friend of mine, who struggled with stress, started this practice. She found that ending her day with gratitude helped shift her focus from worries to blessings, improving her sleep and overall mood. This simple ritual can transform your outlook and enhance your daily life. Gratitude also deepens your connections with others. Expressing thanks to those around you strengthens relationships and fosters a sense of community. Seneca wisely noted, Nothing is more honorable than a grateful heart. Take time to thank someone who made a difference in your day. This could be a colleague, family member, or even a stranger who showed kindness. These expressions of gratitude not only make others feel appreciated, but also enhance your own sense of joy and connection. Incorporate stoic reflection into your gratitude practice by considering the broader context of your day. Reflect on challenges you faced and how you overcame them finding gratitude in your resilience and growth. Epictetus advised, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This perspective helps you appreciate your strengths and learn from your experiences, fostering a balanced and grateful mindset. Ending your day with gratitude is a powerful way to cultivate a positive and resilient outlook. It's about recognizing and celebrating the good in your life, no matter how small. This practice not only enhances your mental and emotional well-being, but also aligns with the stoic focus on mindfulness and appreciation. By making gratitude a daily habit, you create a foundation of joy and resilience that supports you through life's ups and downs. Remember, each day holds gifts worth acknowledging. Take a moment to appreciate them before you rest. Now that you've explored these powerful morning habits, it's time to put them into action. Think about which habits you can integrate into your daily routine to create a more productive and fulfilling morning. Consider the impact of practicing gratitude, mindfulness and discipline every day. These small changes can transform your mindset and well-being, helping you take control of your mornings and, by extension, your life. Challenge yourself to embrace these habits fully. Start with one small step tomorrow morning, maybe a moment of quiet reflection, planning your day, light exercise or reading something inspiring. Pay attention to how you feel as you implement these changes. Are you more focused, energized, and at peace? Share your experiences with others and support each other in building these new habits. Let's keep this conversation going. Comment below on which habits you already have and which ones you need to start adopting. What questions do you have about building a better morning routine? What obstacles are you facing and how can we overcome them together? Share your thoughts, and let's continue this journey towards better mornings and a better life. Remember to visit the link below to access our ebook Path of Wisdom Modern Stoicism for Daily Life, which could still be available at a discounted price. If you find this content valuable and it aligns with your interests, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment. Your support is crucial for reaching a wider audience. Don't forget, seek wisdom to illuminate your path. Be brave and conquer your fears. Embrace justice to foster harmony. And last but not least, cultivate temperance to achieve balance and inner peace.